Today we're going to be doing a real quick used car inspection. Maybe you're at the dealership or the auction and you want to take a quick look at a car just to see if it's worth going to ask for the paperwork, taking it for a test drive or even a proper mechanical inspection. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take a quick walk around the car just to see if there's any damage or any rust spots or anything. Looking across the back, the back of it is not covered in any soot or anything like that. Coming across the side here, I can notice that there is a scratch over here. Well, that's to be expected for a car of this age. And then coming across the front here, I don't know if you can see that, but it seems like the front fender and hood is kind of a different shade than the back, so maybe the front side of this car was repainted at some point. Now coming across this front bumper here, where most of the damage occurs, I notice that there's a lot of stone chips, and that's actually a good thing to look for in a used car, because it means that it packed on a lot of highway miles, which is actually good mechanically for the car, and got a lot of stone chips, as opposed to city miles. Next we'll take a look at the tires. Now coming along here you can see that these are actually Michelin tires all the way around which means that someone spent a pretty penny on these and they actually like this car enough to spend so much money on it and they're fairly fresh though being made in 2018 and they have a pretty decent thread inside of here. Next taking a look at the brakes. Now I just put brand new brakes on this thing so you can see that the rotors are pretty clean. There's no rust on them. Now coming around the back here you can see once again we've got good thread depth on these tires and they are matching Michelin tires and you can see the brakes inside of here do have a decent amount of of pad left instead of here. Now we'll take a brief look underneath this vehicle just to see if there's any rust underneath and if the exhaust components are original or anything looks out of place. And then coming across this side once again we're going to take a look under these rockers just to see if there's any rust or anything under here. Now taking a look under the front of the vehicle we're going to once again be looking for rust but we're also going to look for any wet spots or any leakage coming from the engine or transmission or any other components such as the steering rack. And next we're going to take a look on the inside here make sure that the handles work for the locks and we're going to take a look first at the condition on the inside of the vehicle. Does it smell like any cigarette smoke or anything that's been covered up or any mold or any residue is in here? Generally speaking any vehicle that's pretty clean and in good condition has probably been taken care of under the hood and should last you a little while. Now we're going to take a look inside here and we're going to take a look at the warning lights that come up on the dashboard to make sure nothing's been covered up. Start that up and you can see that I've got my engine lights and all of my other lights that light up and I'm going to start the vehicle and we're going to listen. Okay, the vehicle starts normally and there's no any abnormal noises or anything. Oh, we've got an error on the dashboard there. Now before I go any further, I'm going to take my little OBD scanner tool and plug that in. Alright, so I've got it connected to my phone here. I'm going to go ahead and read the codes, all the system modules and we'll just let that sit. This will take a couple of minutes. Now meanwhile, while that's scanning, we're going to take a quick look at some of the other systems around here just to make sure some of the lights work on the outside. Horn works. Activate the wipers. That works. We're going to check to make sure that the sunroof is working. That's yeah, fine. And we're going to come over here to the windows and make sure all the power windows works on all four windows. Check the locks. Then we're going to come over here to your infotainment system. Seems like the touchscreen is working. Go over to the climate system. Press audio, auto, and then we're going to turn on the air conditioner. Make sure that it blows cold. We're going to check to make sure all the modes work here for your defrost. And you can hear the fan motor spin up. Make sure that the audio system is working properly. A little bit of bad news, yep. so I'll start. Finally, I'm going to turn this steering wheel all the way over to the left here. Make sure the lights are on. Maybe put the flashers on. I'm also going to pop the trunk, and we're going to pop the hood. All right, so coming out inside here, with the tire turned this way, we can take a quick peek over here at the CV axles of its front wheel drive, as well as the steering rack boot, as well as any other components under here that may have been recently replaced. Now we're gonna go under the actual hood real quick. It's good because you see all the original plastic covers here. Now we'll pop this cover off here. You can see, generally speaking, it's actually pretty clean in here. So that means that, again, someone's taking care of this car. Now once we're under the engine, we're gonna take a quick look around here. We're not doing a full mechanical inspection. We just wanna see any obvious signs of uh, recent work that's been done, maybe like a timing belt sticker or any leak, also any aftermarket part. We're also going to listen to the engine to see how it sounds. We can also take a look at the battery over here. That looks pretty new. And we'll take a look at some of the fluid. All right, so let's head back inside and take a look at what this code scanner says. We're also going to want to verify that the mileage is as advertised. Continue, and we've got zero codes. Now one thing you might want to check is the smog check because that will tell you if any of the monitors have been ready or been recently reset. So now the engine's warmed up a little bit. We'll give it a little rev. Sounds pretty good to me. We can go ahead and shut that down. Another really good thing to see is original floor mats as well as other original accessories. Again, that means that someone spent some extra money to get those as accessories. Now with the engine off, I can pull the oil dipstick and we're going to check the oil 
fluid level. In this case, it's pretty full and it's really clear, which means that it's been recently changed. All right, so we're pretty much done under the hood here. We can close that and then we'll come over to the side here and just open up these doors just to make sure everything looks okay and intact. Again, we have original form. Ooh, I got a little gem here. It's my wife's purse. Sometimes you can find some interesting things inside these cars. And if you poke around the glove box enough, I'm sure you can find previous registration history or maybe even repair estimates. Everything looks safe in the back seat here. Again, the seats are in okay condition considering the age of the vehicle. Finally, we're going to come around to this trunk over here. Pop this up. Again, we've got an original floor mat. That's a good thing. We've even got the first aid kit. We've got the tools here. And we've got the spare tire there. Now if your vehicle has these little holes over here, that's actually a good thing because that means that your vehicle has been rust proof. And that's pretty much a couple of points that you could use in order to take a quick look at a used vehicle that you're about to purchase without any special tools or having to drag that mechanic friend out with you to take a look at the car. Oh yeah, so once you've decided that you do want to purchase this car, make sure you do a full used car inspection. I have a detailed six part video series on that, so make sure you check that out linked above. Subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.